Assalamu alaikum. In this topic, we will cover basically the introduction to this course. So, whenever you want to learn a course, there are two strategies. One is known as breadth first and other is known as depth first. So, in breadth first strategy, you normally understand overall what is the course and then you go in the details vertically in each of the topic. And in breadth first strategy, uh, in depth first strategy, you try to master one of the domain first and then you move to the second one. In computer science, we cover the breadth first strategy, which means that we will give you introduction to all of the topics which we will be covering in your four year degree program. And then after making motivation to each of the topic, then we will move forward in the next semesters to cover each course in very detailed way. So in this uh, module, I will discuss about the topics which you will be studying in your four years program. So in breakfast strategy, as I have mentioned, that it covers abstract view of all major courses, understanding what will be studied in computer science, why each course is important and clarifying the bigger picture that why we need to study each of the course. So the topics which we will be covering in this course starts from search engine usage techniques. You know that you might have used search engines in your daily life, for example, Google. And whenever you want to search anything, you go onto Google and give your query and that search engine retrieves results according to your query from trillion of documents. So we will master different things which will give you the most relevant results. We will apply different filters and we will learn different search tips. This is this would be very interesting to know that what are the different search tips in Google while searching on the internet. Then we will cover history of computing. So from where computer science started and how it progressed over the years and over the decades, both in the hardware type industry and domain and in the software domain. So we will be studying in detail this, this concept as well. Then the data storage, whatever the data you enter into the computer or computer retrieves and gives you back, that data is stored somewhere in the hardware. And how that data is stored in the hardware, that is a science. And we will study that science. For example, you know the computer science has only language of zeros and one, which we known as binary language. So computer do not understand English, Urdu, Pashto, Punjabi. It only understand the binary language. So how your natural language, some data which is written in English or, or numeric values, those are converted into zero and ones and how that is stored in your computer, in your hard drive, how that process is done. So we will be studying that thing in data storage. Then data manipulation. When that data is stored on the hard drive, then how that data is manipulated. And for example, you know, you learn that there is a science of addition, there is a science of subtraction, multiplication. But in computer science, each and everything is stored in binary. So how binary addition is performed, how binary subtraction is performed, multiplication is performed, so that has a science. So which we will be studying in data manipulation. And that doesn't end here, uh, the addition or subtraction. So there are a number of other data manipulation procedures which we will be studying. Then we will study operating system. So you know, uh, one of the example of operating system is Windows. So which operates all of the hardware and allow your other programs to function. So for example, 
when you open a browser, when you open Microsoft Word, Excel, any type of application software that is communicating with the operating system. And operating system is the overall in charge of your computer and is allocating the memory and initiating the procedures and processes and giving time to all of the application softwares. So we will be studying this concept in details. Then we will be studying networking and internet algorithms. So you know uh, algorithm is a step, a set of steps to perform a task. For example, if you want to make a tea, then there are number of steps which you want you you will have to perform. For example, you will have water, you will boil it, you will add tea, milk, sugar boil it and your tea is ready so these are the steps so in computer science whatever task we want computer to do for us so we have to tell those concepts those steps to the computer in the form of algorithm so we will be studying algorithm in details then programming languages as i explained in the previous lecture then scratch tool will be demonstrated and you will be doing practice on scratch tool as well then software engineering which is a overall a big domain in which from taking the requirements from the customer until the deployment of a software what is performed in between so all of those stages will be understood in software engineering then data abstraction database systems artificial intelligence with some of them we have already studied in the last lecture. Then what is the CS impact on society? This we will also study in detail. Both the positive aspects and the negative aspects. Then how content filtering is performed. What are spam, junk mails and what are international laws related to computer science. Then we will be practicing on different tools. For example, we will be studying word processing, Microsoft Word, how to make presentations in PowerPoint, for example, in spreadsheets like uh, MS Excel, and then databases, Microsoft Access, and then you will design your own web page, which will be hosted somewhere, and other students could see that you are on the internet. And to summarize the today's topic, today I have given you introduction about all of the topics which we will study in computer science and from next lecture we will focus on the first thing that is search engine techniques and query formulation. Thank you very much.